So we got Shop Hamilton in the house. Joyce, welcome to the show. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. And thank you for having me. So happy to be here with you. So for our viewers who are not familiar with the Shop Hamilton program, tell everyone about it. Shop Hamilton is a wonderful local organization. We're made up of local businesses who band together to remind the community to shop local, that we're here and we're happy to service them. We're the people you're gonna see on the soccer fields with the kids when we get out again. Um, in the grocery stores, we know people. We really have a high level of commitment to service and to really um, developing and retaining relationships with our clients. So that's Shop Hamilton. Yeah, and you do a lot for the community. You're always fundraising for some organization. And and the, the good part about it is that you all kind of get together as a bunch of businesses in town. And because Hamilton doesn't have a main street. So no, it has several main streets because we're really large. <laughs> Huge. And you are spread out. And what I loved when you guys started this organization some time back was that you were able to take everyone of Hamilton and unite. And that's important. It's really great. And especially at this time that we find ourselves in, it's great even via Zoom to um, have a meeting and get to see everyone and just check in and make sure everybody's doing the best they can. So yeah, it's a great organization. Yeah. So as small business owners, um, you know, these are mom and pops, you know, they don't have bankrolls, you know, what's the vibe of and spirit of your businesses these days? Truthfully, it's a tough time. It's a tough time for small business. Um, a lot of them though, have been, have such a creative side as entrepreneurs. They've figured out different ways to do business and it's fun to hear those things. Um, you know, the rec center is a dance studio. She's gone to virtual. Um, she teaches her same classes every day and has some sense of consistency for the kids, which the parents are loving. Yeah. Um, so we love the way she's turned her business around. We have um, e-title and they're actually signing papers in the parking lot, putting papers out there so clients can sell them and still buy a house. Um, our realtors still, you know, showing homes just virtually in a different way. So the people who have been able to figure out a different new way to do business in this time are doing good. And we're going to get the others up and running as soon as we get the uh, sign from the governor that we can get back to business. And then we'll be out and about in the community and really um, reaching the residents and letting them know we're here for them. Yeah. I know and um, there are a lot of businesses in the area and the restaurants are open there's not they a lot of work yeah they're and they're selling away which is great because that means the community supporting and that's what we love in my house we're taking turns at the restaurants who we're ordering from and getting delivery from just trying to support small business as best we can yeah good for you yeah absolutely <laughs> and, then I don't have to and, and they need it and if there's any other you know as I was saying, as this unfolds, there's going to be more ways that people can support and they're going to want to know because people, um, you know, having getting their stimulus um, unemployment checks and they're able to support the economy. And that's what the stimulus money is for. Now, this Hope is in Hamilton campaign. Oh, it's just so, so amazing. exciting. Uh, so tell what are the businesses uh, a little bit? What are you guys doing and how can we help you? So, you know, we had to pivot. The um, foundation of the campaign was really a cancer awareness and sharing with our customers and our clients how they can um, best take care of themselves. Under um, this new climate, we had to pivot. And I think we've done that in a great way. Um, you know, it's a fact that finding gratitude and acknowledging gratitude daily is good for our mental states, emotionally, physically. It's just a good thing. So the Hope is in Hamilton is looking for everyone to reach out either via a recording or a text or a Facebook post or Instagram. Where did you find your hope today? So I've been telling everyone for me, my first one will be with my 92 year old dad and my kids and saying we found hope that we've kept grandpa um, COVID free during this time. So we're really excited about that. 
Um, but when you do the post or you do a, a recording, do the hashtag Hope is in Hamilton. We'll find it. We'll help you post it and get it out there. Ask all your friends to do it because sharing these good stories are going to help all of us just come out of this so much better. Um, so we want everybody to get involved. And um, we have such great partnerships here in the township. The hospital is a great place that we've partnered with. Um, the municipality, Mayor Martin has been great in supporting the campaign, agreeing to light up um, the building in Lavender, uh, the firehouses. You know, we have fire, seven fire stations here in the township because we're so large. They're gonna be lighting up in Lavender, the police station. So, um, and let me not forget to mention the school district. Dr. Rocco and Laura Gelch have been awesome in working with us. And they'll get this message out to the kids who are really out of sorts right now. Um, so if they can share their messages as well, it's gonna be really exciting to see what the kids, what they find is hopeful today. Um, but again, don't forget to do your hashtag Hope is in Hamilton. And if you wanna find a way to get involved, you can go on um, the website, hopeisinhamilton.com and that will give you some ideas. And there's also a sign there that you can print and maybe put it in your house window or your business window. Let everybody know that you're part of the HOPE campaign. Love it. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to drive around. I'm gonna post out just to get you know video and maybe get some people cheering. I don't know, I just think it's great. I'm so glad that you guys are doing this. It's time now, people need this. They really do. Absolutely. And then our other great partners is in the print media. And right here is our neighbors for this month. It's lavender, as you can see. And I'm wearing my lavender. That's the color for the month, right? Um, so they've dedicated the entire magazine to uh, the Hope is in Hamilton campaign. Uh, the Hamilton Post also has made their front page lavender. And then we have some information inside about that as well. And I don't want to leave anyone out because everyone's been great in contributing and we appreciate all of it. Um, so if we can really get everybody in, moving in that direction where we're more hopeful, right? And there's always something to be hopeful about. Yeah. We're going to get through this together. We can't let this suck the life out of us, right? No, no way. Absolutely. I'm going down by COVID. That's all I got to say. <laughs> no, I no think no way. No way. Um, to be honest, as much as it's awful, it has also uh, brought families together. It has um, made you reevaluate your life and what you're doing, how you're doing it, and just really looking at, at yourself and saying, how can I do things better, or how can I make a difference and helping. It's, it's been quite moving, I have to say. Yeah, and you have to keep moving in a positive direction. And we learn that in life, right? And the more positivity, the better every day is. Yeah. So join us with Hope is in Hamilton. That's right. Kicks off tomorrow, May 1st. Absolutely. Um, right in the morning, right? During the day, when does it kick off? Right in the morning. Um, you can look at the social media pages for RWJ University Hospital Hamilton. Um, the president, CEO, Richard Freeman, is kicking off with his um, hope message where he found hope and then be sure to check out the shop Hamilton Facebook page because we'll be uh, posting daily inspirations and we'll also be posting our members and their friends uh, videos their recordings and their uh, posts we'll share them there so be sure to do that yeah and we'll be sharing what you're sharing <laughs> okay awesome it'll be like one chain <laughs> the more the merrier I love it uh, well, thank you so much for coming on and everyone. Um, the website information is right there. The Facebook pages are right listed right here. So make sure to get involved, post your stories because we want to hear them. It makes us feel better. So you're going to inspire someone else. So please post. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, April. Thank you for watching New Jersey Buzz Local. Please share this post to help us create a positive vibe one town at a time.